For this project, we convert MIDI into CSV with MIDI CSV, and then we encode from CSV to CSV using our encoder. The result is like this. Okay, so this is the code for the Markov chain. The idea is to find the next successor of the current state. So here we have the class for the Markov chain. We have array list inside it. And then we have this one uh, for the output file. And then we also take an input. And then next, we also need to load the dictionary if it already exists. And then after we finish the program, and then we will update the dictionary. So the Markov chain is here where uh, we actually create a chunk of three words. So and then from the three words, we keep taking one word from its list of possibilities until either it has no more possibility or it reaches the maximum number of iterations that we have uh, determined in the beginning of the program. After we run the Markov chain program, we need to decode it back into CSV, and then we convert the CSV into MIDI using CSV MIDI.